everyone and welcome back to Manor Lords. This is episode number three and in today's episode I think we're going to crack on with some farming. Uh, we left it off in the last episode. We are currently building this trading post and we're building the farmhouse up here but unfortunately because of the distance uh, travelled and the fact that we've only got one ox to deliver all the, um, uh, the stuff around and the fact that we've only got one family who's currently unassigned um, things are moving a little bit on the slow side but we are going to ramp things up in this episode we've got 17 months of uh food and two months of fuel i feel like we are probably going to have to start thinking about making some bigger uh some bigger houses some bigger burgish pots i think they say um i also was told by a friend that if i hold tab i get to see lots of information on the top of them like that but i don't know what any of them actually means <laughs> uh church access what's the on oh, the clothing oh is that what that's what they're missing right okay everything else is everything else is ticked off but that's what they're missing that's fine and then the other one is let me one child or one space for one family there is one family in there maybe i don't know uh and yeah we're also gonna need to think probably won't be in this episode i just i'm curious i'm conscious about uh, how long things take at times in this game to get going uh, i'm conscious that we want to start getting things like the iron we've got the stone over here and we've got the clay over there we want to make sure that we're doing some of that because so that we've got something to trade with once this is uh up and running but at the moment the uh, the ox is doing his thing up there we are going to look to also build some more houses. I feel like even though it's risky growing too quickly, and I'm, I'm very cautious that I don't want to do that, we don't have enough people. I think that it's, it's plainly obvious. I also found out that the homelessness thing here, I believe, is a bug. I was looking through uh, the patch notes for the upcoming patch that is currently in the uh, sort of testing phase at the moment, and the homelessness thing there, where it constantly gives you this kind of negative buff, is actually an ongoing bug that hopefully will be fixed in the next update. I'm just hoping that I don't have to restart the save for that bug to be quashed, and that it will just uh, you know work in this save. Uh, so I haven't got to restart anything, otherwise we're going to have to carry on with that bug in place. Um, yes, and the other final thing is that um, I hadn't really given it much thought, actually, to be honest. Obviously, we've got lots of uh, lots of vegetables growing in these gardens. But one thing I didn't kind of sort of think of was that if I just did a burgish plot like this, for example, look how big their gardens are. So I mean, we we could have like we could have humongous amounts of vegetables. So yeah, we're going to, uh, next time we build some houses, which may be later in this episode, we are going to try and provide them with much bigger gardens so that when we upgrade their houses to have vegetable gardens, chicken coops, or even better things once the uh, burgage pots get up to level two, um, then um, yeah, we could, uh, we could have a much larger incomes for vegetables and other bits and pieces as well. So that's what we'll do. So in order to level up to level two anyway, we've got to have all these, don't know, we've got to have clothing, we've got to have a church in the town as well, so we can't level up anything at the moment anyway. Uh, where is our ox? Is he... What's he doing? I, I still don't quite understand why the ox continues to go there when there is literally 28 massive timber logs sat there in the logging camp. Why does he always go out here? I can only assume he's doing that because the the the, the person there is actually um, uh, chopping down the trees over there. Right, one thing, I'm going to quickly pause it. One thing I was also made aware of, which I should probably have thought about myself, is that we've got a rich seasonal deposit of berries over here. Now, it's not going to be a problem for the, the, the wild animals because they're all the way over there. But if our logging camp decides to start chopping at trees over there we could lose that berry deposit forever and it's the same if, if there was going to be a wild animals thing there as well so what i want to do is i'm sure there is a way in which you can do it is it in advanced so we're going to limit the work area to there for the time being and our forester's hut we are going to sort of tell him to keep growing trees there the time being he looks like he's been growing a whole bunch just here um i'm assuming they'll take quite a long time in game to uh to grow i have to wait and see 
But for the moment, I think we are just at the point where we just got to speed things along and uh, and get cracking. Splendid work on the roof, good sirs. Thank you. Okay, right. Farmhouse has enough stuff now to finish. This is good. This is good news. We have three hides as well. So he can now go off and they can begin work on the uh, on the trading post. And here is our little farmhouse. It's so cool. I mean, obviously I'm speeding it up. It's just so cool watching it all come to life, seeing the actual foundations, all the timber framework going in. Very, very cool. There we go. Looks like our farmhouse is just about just about done. We aren't we are not, however, going to be able to actually uh, do anything with them. Because even though we have families living there, we have a family in there. We do not at the moment have a family in there. And then once we do have a family in there, we are still I think we're gonna need, you know what? After we've done these trading posts, I think we have to hit housing. I think housing has to be our next uh yeah, I, th I think it does. I think it has to be our next thing what we build. Now. Flax is going to go there. Barley is going to have to go over there. That's fine. And rye can go anywhere. Okay, that's that's okay. I just want to make sure that I'm not building on, on things that um, is going to cause problems. Uh, we do that there. Do we want to go even? Do we want to go even larger? We do that like that. We have a whole load of houses there. So our family that does the building has got an awful lot of work to get on with. But hopefully, once a family comes in here, which shouldn't be too long with a bit of luck, we'll have two families doing the building. But at least the ox hasn't got to travel quite as far. The farmhouse was a bit of a trek, wasn't it, to get everything done up there? Right, speed things along again then. How many? Uh, we've only got one log there at the moment, so they've got some work to do there. Yeah, that ox has got some <laughs> some serious haulage to do. Uh, we're in July, of course. How are we doing? We need to be a little bit. I don't know what time. Does it say? Frequent running seasonal deposits regrow in the spring. So yeah, we have to um we're gonna have to be a little bit careful that in the winter, for example, that we don't harvest these to <laughs> Sorry to listen to what they're saying. We don't want to make we won't we do we do not want to uh, harvest both of these resources of food to extinction because they will not come back from what I have seen. So we need to be a little bit careful. So we may have to uh, turn the the forestry off. I mean, there's part of me that says we could turn off the forager hut now. But I'm pretty sure they're the ones that are managing the food store, aren't they? And Santa and Jacob. Yeah, they are. So who looks after that stall then if they don't? Is it someone from the hunting camp? Is it someone from the granary? I truly do not know. We got. A, uh, for, uh, for some reason, I thought that was a homeless lodge. Then. So we're at fifty-five percent approval at the moment. We're still growing. Fifty-six percent. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves another family shortly. Right. We got all of the wood they needed for that now. So now they will start moving the wood for the housing. So where are these guys taking wood from? I'm assuming they're taking it from over here then, aren't they? Time to do that. Take the wood from there. Uh, 
Right. Speed things along then. Our ox is doing some good work there. Do we actually see where, the, where our bandit camp was, by the way? Because we have, we've had some bandits doing no, nasty things. I don't recall where they actually were. Kept saying that bandits were uh, stealing stealing things from us. There's a bandit camp over there. Is that it? That's the only bandit camp in the region, apparently. There we go. New family moves in. Lovely old job. So that should mean then we have our second family to start doing construction. Lovely. Okay. They seem to be does, uh, to housing or does housing rather take priority? So it's both at medium, so I guess maybe it does. Hey, st stop! What did they just steal? Is that, is that seven timber they've just stolen? Or was that seven firewood? So, oh, fucking bastards. Seven firewood they've just stolen. We might have to go deal with them, but I, 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 we don't know where it is. Is it just that one there? I mean, it's a hell of a, that's a hell of a mission to go and take them out, but it might well be. I don't know if we have enough units, uh, 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 big enough... Peasant army. I don't think. I don't think it's big enough. Well, speed things along nicely here to get this all finished off. Training post is going up as well. The little village is beginning to take shape. So then, trade. So at the moment, we don't have a great deal with which to trade with. I'm assuming, I mean, I suppose we could do the hides, couldn't we? But we don't have, we're not exactly um, having lots of use of them. Oh, that's what the symbol, that's, it was a military symbol. Is that the symbol? No, it wasn't, it was clothing. Um... I'm try so can we not do any of the is it because we haven't got anyone working there is that why people suffering from disease may stop working access to herbs might speed up their recovery while a very diet increases disease resistance righty righty that connect this building to the king's road absolutely is connected Okay, right, we will I will put somebody on there. For some training. I've heard that you don't necessarily have to have the these things set up. As far as I'm aware, training occurs anyway. But at the moment, I mean I don't see Ah, here we go, you have to select this. Here we go. Right. At the moment we don't really have a surplus of anything. Other than berries. But I feel like giving away our food would be a bit silly. Unless we decided. So if we said our surplus, desired surplus. So if I said I wanted to maintain a hundred. Right? 
with 21 months worth of food. I think we're good on that. So that should mean that we only sell down to 100. If, I've, if I'm working that out right, I believe that's okay. We can also export hides. Want to maintain five. And everything else for the moment. Don't think we need to worry about too much. How much it costs to import compared to the export? Madness. Right. Whatever. Okay, that's good. So they will obviously at some point have to start moving things around. Here we go. They're going to take their little carts and they're going to start going and grabbing the things that they need for the trade post. Still got houses going up. So we've got more burgage plots ready for people to move in. You have now a full family. Construction finished. So what we need to do is get to a point where all these families move in and then we can actually start doubling up. So I need to be careful. That seasonal deposit is getting a little bit on the low side, as is the wild animals. Hunting limit is set to 10, though, so that's fine. And they've actually got got nine hides in there which haven't been moved as yet uh what about our forager hut do they have any kind of limits they do not so we may have to turn them off at some point so hunting can still go on during the winter but we'll have to just keep an eye on that because we're almost at that 10 limit to make sure that they don't over hunt that this is the last thing that we want to do so we still got more timber, so we can look to create our mines, I guess. Hang on. Oh, is that the wrong thing? That's an iron deposit. I have a feeling that was the wrong thing. Yes, it was. So it's the mining pit that we need. For that and for that but for a stone cutters camp it is that lots of building going on do that and then we're going to need a Path over there for that. And a path there for that. There we go. Yeah, I'm pleased with how this is coming along. Speed time along again. Let's keep a little eye on the animals. A bandit camp was sighted. Where? <gasps> I bet it's them. I bet it's them. Those little bastards. Okay, right. We will have to take up arms at some point, but for the time being, we need more families. Oh. So it's just this little group of housing here that has people in it at the moment. Everything else is... Oh, a little bit of lag. Everything else is, uh, is not full at the moment. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. They've all got access to what they need. Food variety at 88%. Fuel was at 100. Clothing obviously at zero because we aren't making any. Although we have got... We've got the ability to make clothing, have we not? Yeah, we have. We've got a tannery. So we could maybe crank that up as well. Not sure. Uh, we do. We are going to... What have we got? We've got 25. So we could do chicken with eggs. Goats produce more hides, which we could use to export, or we just go down the route of the of the vegetables and try and get some of them into the supply. These must be almost ready to har to harvest, aren't they? They've got to be. We're in September, harvesting. Yep, yeah, harvesting time. Yeah, here we go. Is he harvesting? No, he's just walking about with a hammer. 
I don't think you harvest with a hammer. I could be wrong. So we need, thankfully, we only need one. One wood on each, and that one on two, and that's probably the nearest. It's not all, not too bad. Uh, and we've almost we've got two more to go in there, and then all those houses are finished. That next five houses. So if we get all of them in, we will have. Oh, we've got, here we go, another family coming in. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, plus those eight over there. So we have 13 families, which is really, really good. I think we need to put in another... Do we need to increase the speed at which these trees grow? Because they, they do seem to be taking a while. to keep an eye on that uh right where are we well so that's now at 10 so in theory you now should be should be idle should be nothing for them to do now plenty of meat in there as well so i'm thinking Do we turn that off if we're not using it? And do we turn this one off if we're not using this either? I think we do. I think we're going to turn turn the forager hut off for the time. Let's let that grow in the uh, in the spring. We don't want to uh, we don't want to over farm it. Be interesting. So we obviously have to keep an eye on that come the spring next year to see how much of that deposit recovers. Does the if the entire thing recovers, then we're then we're doing okay. We do, however, need more of that. So I'm going to stick another family on the woodcutters lodge. To try and improve things there. It still leaves us two families doing constructing. And then once we get a few of these families in, we can actually start farming. So, uh, so 54% fertility doesn't say at what point it needs going. What does it say here? Harvesting, plowing, and s plowing and sowing. So this is, sowing is for is for next year, right? So it needs it needs to kind of happen now. September. In the next two months, we need to have everything set up and ready to go. Speed along again. rather not get caught out because if i don't get these crops in the ground now actually you know what i'm kind of tempted you know let's turn off the mining camp because we've got enough food for the time being i think we've also got enough timber so i'm thinking we turn off the log let's turn off the logging camp for now so we've got we've got enough of that and let's get some families over there if the field is not set to fallow, workers will plow it and sow the crops as soon as possible. Yield will increase as it grows and it's harvested in September during the, during the harvest season. I'm aware. But if I'm reading that right, the entire field is harvested, plowed and sowed in the same period. Harvested obviously is cutting and, and extracting all of the goodness from the ground. Extracting the crops. And then plowing is, is resorting the field and sowing is planting. Right then, so they are into the fields in the in the heavy rain. They are in the fields and working, which is good. And I've blessed, blessed them. They've got to do it all by hand. So we'll keep an eye on that as we go. Uh, trading post wise, I'm, I don't really know. Oh, one of them has gone. Where's he going? Oh, he's coming back. He's transporting berries. Please don't tell me I set that to import. I export. Okay, so he must be... Hopefully he's coming back with some money. Oh, we are getting money. Hello. That was on 35. It's now 38. Okay, so something is, going, something is working well.
checking to see what it is that's uh that's been built. So that one is now finished. So now we're just into the into the mines. The mines probably won't get uh, anybody involved just yet. I reckon we probably look to do a vegetable garden there. There you go. Look at the side. Look at the how big that vegetable garden is compared to the others. Straight away. Okay, right. We've made a good chunk of uh, headway in this episode so far. Um, we are going to need to build a church at some point. I'm thinking maybe we put the church there on the assumption that it's not going to get in the way of any... So the flax could go maybe up there and the church can go here. Barley's up out of the way anyway and rye can go anywhere. Yeah, so a church here could work. Uh, we could also build our manager at some uh, manager our manor at some point. Uh, what do we want? What, would it, what is it classed as? Residential? Yeah, church. We do need twenty wooden planks. I don't think we've got any at the moment, have we? No. I've uh, got a tavern, corpse pit, which hopefully we won't need for the time being. Now, while we're here, I suppose the question is, is do we want to get any f any of the other seeds in the ground while we're here? That is the big question. Could put could put a flax field there. And we could also maybe have a can we get a barley field off up and running? So it's right next to the, st the stone the stone deposit, which is a bit shit, but we can go there and then rye. Some more fields going in there. Well, we could just make a couple of couple of wheat fields here, couldn't we? And then just Do another wheat field there. Then which one's better? So that one could be flax. And that'll be barley. So like that. It's it's this is gonna be back breaking work for all of those families there. We could really do with another family or two moving in. We're at sixty percent approval now, by the way. Which is really, really good. If we can get that food supply sorted and ready, we are we are laughing. So those wild animals tend to, they actually replenish all the time, which is kind of good. Okay, because that was at 10, it's now at 12. Firewood consumption is doubled and lack of firewood might cause freezing. How are we doing on firewood? We've got 25. There's 14 firewood in that store. It says everyone's got fuel, so we'll take that as everything is sorted. Right, that field is, what's that, two-thirds of the way done now? But they've now also begun work and, and spread across the other fields, which is not really what I wanted. I didn't want them to spread themselves that thin. Uh, is there anything else that we can maybe slope off for a second and, and take away? Um, 
Everything else kind of, kind of needs people to work on it, doesn't it? I mean, part of me thinks, do I just take people off of, like, the storehouse for the, for the time being? Oh, there's no one on it anyway. Um, I'll take people off of that. Mining pit is now finished. We just need another family. If we can get another family to come in, maybe two if we're lucky. I'm thinking the, the people are doing the trading. He's transporting berries. He's not he's not making tons of money, but he's making enough, which is fine. I don't know what the uh, the benefit of in the in the trade menu here. I don't know what the benefit of of making this. Just uh, okay, it's just a specific trade route that comes a bit more often. Okay, we're looking all right though. We are looking looking in a good spot. I mean. Lovely little farm plots up the top always makes a, a little village look nice. I like the little uh, little hedgerows that grow around the outside. That's, that's a very nice touch. Right, this we this field is not far off being done, but I think I may have stretched my people too thin. Can we field priority? Oh no, let's let's get that field done and then I'll let them spread themselves out to the other to the other places. Yeah, new new people turning up is quite slow, isn't it? We were at sixty one percent approval, and we've not uh, we've not grown to the level that I thought we would have had, would have right now. Right, so let's take a quick look at this because we haven't really looked at this in any great detail here. So we can kind of specialise in one of these four areas, I believe. So we can have an apple orchard here. It takes three years though for the trees to fully grow. And as a result, the apples that they produce is quite small. We can have sheep. We can have a heavy plough as well, which will help with bigger fields. I mean, our fields aren't that massive at the moment, so that's not a major, a major problem. Um, so th basically, this looks like this is all to do with farming, effectively, by the, by the look of this. Um, we've got over here, we've got all to do with hunting and maybe just resources i guess down here we've got uh production and over here we've got trade is what i'm reading into that um i think we'll go do you know what? i think we're gonna get the honey because i think that's gonna allow us some really nice trade so if we now go into where would it be it's an industry no, it's not industry Gathering, here we go. Look, we've got an apiary. Where, where, do you, where do you put it? Anywhere you like? I guess you do. Right, this field is, is nearly done. And now, the seed sprinkling. And we have a new family. Straight into the farming, please. A new food store has just been set up, has it? Right, so we got... Excellent. So just the one more family. So that's ten families now we have in total. In our little village. Alright, that one is done. Looks like our stone cutter's hut over there is all finished as well. So is that all of them done now? Just that one, just the mining pit. With the ox that's already on his way taking stuff up there. Excellent. We are in October, so we are going to need to get a fucking wiggle on here. I think maybe we just take the family off of that and get them in the fields. We need to get these fields planted. I want to try and get all these fields planted. That would be really, really helpful. Where can we steal someone? How are we doing on firewood? Plenty of firewood. Let's steal one of you. And get up in there. I think this is going to become important, isn't it? I think already I can see 
that as you go through the months of the year, I think your managing of your people is going to become quite important. I don't think it's going to be a case of that you could just sort of assign, unless you've got tons and tons of people, I guess, maybe you can get away with it. But I don't think you can just like leave two people on here because you're going to end up getting rid of all the deer. I don't think you can just leave people on the logging camp because you'll end up clearing woods quicker than you can replenish them. I don't think you're going to want to keep people on berry, etc., etc. You, you, you're going to need... There are seasonal jobs that are going to require a bigger effort to get completed during um, during the year. Yes, I know we need we need a family for that, but we need families out in the fields at the moment. They fucking bandits! Keep stealing my damn firewood. Right, how are we looking? So I think we we have no the month of November to, to finish this as well. So this we should says confidently we should have enough time to get all this done. Right, okay, so we have got more we've got more people coming in as well. So we've got another family in there. So we have another we have another family in, in the place. So this one is done. So that's both uh, wheat fields are planted. Uh, this field is virtually ploughed. They are now sowing it. We are cutting this pretty, uh, pretty fine. We should just be able to get there though. Mining pit is finished. So all of our mining pits and whatever and camps are all done, which is great. Out in the driving rain trying to get this done. Can we get this last field planted before winter sets in? I think we can. I think we're going to do it. I think we're good. I think we've planted. We are good. Excellente. We are... Good and ready. So there's now no more farming. I'm pretty sure there's no more farming that needs doing now. We just we just grow. So all those families can now go back to uh, doing what they were doing. Um, we're all good there. What, what else do we take people off of? I think we're okay. I think we're doing all right, actually. All of, all of a sudden, we've got loads of family spare. In which case, start mining. So we have enough fuel for only one month. Let's uh, pick up the pace in the firewoods. Um, the woodcutters lodge then. There we go. We have seeds in the ground. This is like a medieval Clarkson's farm now. These ones are growing really rapidly, aren't they? The old wheat fields. Twelve months of food left as well. Which is fine, because that's going to give us plenty of food to get through the winter. And then we can start ramping up food production. Uh, next time out uh we're also i i don't know i don't know how many uh how much f of an army i need to go and attack why are we lagging i don't know how much of a how many have they got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen so they got about 15 men i mean if they could kill each other from fighting that'd be even better but yeah well, i think we're going to need to round up more men we have 30 th so how many do we have have we got a so we have t we have 20 at the moment out of 36 and i don't think we have any more no we have we've got less is that right yeah we actually we've actually run out of equipment now so we actually have no more equipment with which to use uh right we've now got 97 regional wealth as well which is kind of cool so the trade is working nicely let us Put some uh, some more plots around.
Uh, that's fine. You can have a, a vegetable garden in the back of yours. And I think we're uh, we are we're good. Okay, right. So I think we have reached a good stopping point here. We've done a lot in this episode. I had a feeling that this episode might be um, might be a big one. We've we've constructed more uh, more farms, which is great, and we've got them all planted and sowed and all that and plowed and sowed and all that. We've got all the mining pits up and running, and they will now hopefully begin to create some resources that we can look to trade. Trade is also running, albeit a little slowly, but it is generating a nice little income. We're in a good spot with food. We should have. It doesn't look like they've harvested these vegetables yet, but we should have. Oh no, they are beginning to. We have our first vegetable in the supply. Maybe that's what the uh, the food store was, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're in a good spot. We've got more houses. We've got more families coming in. Our approval rating is up. We are in a good spot. The only slight concern is that Woodcutter's Lodge, because we only have fuel for one month. Okay, we will uh, end things there then as these guys get to work on their vegetable gardens. We've got, uh, we've got some chicken coops over here. Oh, look, the chicken's escaped. Get him. <laughs> so our little village is beginning to come to life. And we have a goat. More chickens over here. So, yeah, I think we are... I am pleased with how things are going. We haven't got anything here at the moment, have we? No. I am pleased with how all of this is going. Um, in the next episode, uh, I want to ramp up the mining, obviously, and start beginning to trade some of that out. We will obviously be heading into year two. But I need to be very careful because year two is bandit attack year. So we may have to think about marching on that bandit camp in the next episode and just getting rid of that because it's, it's, it's worrying me. <laughs> so we may have to go and take that out but in the meantime thank you very much everyone for watching if you've enjoyed this make sure you like the video make sure you comment down below on your thoughts give me any you know hints and tips if there's anything glaringly obvious that i haven't done yet that i need to think about without obviously spoiling uh, the game itself um, i'm more than happy to, to take hints and tips on board so yeah thanks very much everyone subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell and we'll see you all in episode number four